Is it dangerous? Only when I'm involved. Hi, hi, welcome back to my channel. Hi, hello, and welcome if you are new. Today we're gonna be opening up one of my favorite sub subscription boxes. It sounds very big, but very empty, so it's very odd. Um, yeah, we'll see how this goes. This is my Boxy Charm by Ipsy. I want to call it my Ipsy box, like so bad. This is my Boxy Charm by Ipsy. Very large box this month, which like we've gotten before. I've gotten before, but it feels like whatever is in here is a little heavy, but there's a lot of room. Like this is probably all that's. I don't know. We're gonna open this together, see what's inside learn a little bit more about each other mostly you about me <laughs> because ugh, I'm gonna be the one doing this if you're new to my channel or new to ipsy boxy charm by ipsy yeah boxy charm by ipsy you can go and check out of course the description has information in there editing me is great at adding that and then also I have a playlist with like all my past boxes for like the last three years two years three years I forget cloud knife helped me open the box it's sealed like twice so I wonder like what is in here I pick everything in here except for two items so oh it seems full doesn't it I have like three other subscription boxes that came day after day after day after the yeah so let's ah the paper is an illusion. This is cute. <laughs> this is it. Some of the things are open. So let's go through this so I can see. This, I don't think we've gotten this cute little... No, we do. I think we... I'm getting ahead of myself. Sometimes we get these cute little, like, newspaper-looking things that'll tell us a little bit about the box. So, Boxy Charm, May 2024. Oh, did I not tell you? It's May. Welcome to May 2024. Hello. <laughs> the theme for this month is The Secret Garden, which is really pretty. Hmm. This month's Spring Beauty Staples will bring your look into full bloom and lead you through a sanctuary filled with florals botanicals and intoxicating aromas let's see and then on the inside tells you a little bit about what you could have gotten for your what do they call them your power picks I was like your number twos your power picks um, and then over here little things you can add to car shopping doing some things and, oh, a peek at June's Choice lineup. Hello. Hold on, I gotta look at this. Oh, and um, you could have gotten the Icon box. I did not. I thought about it, but then I was like, why not just go buy their products? It's from Patrick Star. They are the May Icon box curator. I'm just trying to sh spit out all these words together. It's not working. But yeah, that's what we got here you choose three thank you um sneakity peeks anywho nothing about what I got in here currently so of course we got to pull up the app which of course I didn't do so editing me is gonna work some magic while I pull this up on my phone and then I'll just be able to read everything to you like magic okay we're gonna do this since I got the app pulled up. Are you, do you, where, where's your prices? What's going on here? Do I? Huh. This is weird. Uh, so maybe it's just my app is acting weird. It's not showing me the prices for the items. Like here they are. And I'm like, oh, maybe if I like click on it, it'll slowly but surely pop up and show me the prices, right? 
because this is a Dr. Brandt skincare. Um, so I'm thinking it'll be here. No. I got reviews. I got what it does, how to use it, ingredients. No pricing though. That's that's weird, right? Is that, is it just me? Is that weird? Normally, normally it gives us like the pricing information, but it doesn't. So, this might just be a quick video. I'm going to try it again on this item down here, the last item I picked. Yeah, it's the same. That's weird. That's weird. That's so special. We're just going to do deal with what I have. And then editing me is going to work her magic behind the scenes. Find the prices and then put it down in the description like I normally do. So without further delay. <clears throat> the first item is from Dr. Brandt. Uh, it is the Pores No More Luminizer Primer. I'm pretty sure I have some primers from Dr. Brandt, but I'm not a I'm not a fan of like the illuminizing primer. Like that's what I have on right now, and I feel like all it does is just make my face like orange or silver underneath my makeup. And I don't not a huge fan really, but that's pretty cool. Don't know how much it is. It's probably something. Also, it doesn't feel like you get like a lot. Usually Dr. Brand is like a pricier item. Whoop! As I drop it. <laughs> but not a whole lot. Just throwing it out there. I got a whole fluid ounce though. On to the next item. Since we don't have pricing. <laughs> next item. Oh, okay. I do enjoy this next brand. It's from Skin Inc. And both of these items... Ipsy Boxy Charm by Ipsy picked for me. So this one, next one is Skin Ink. It is my daily dose of armor. Calm, soothe, and balance. Proprietary encapsulation technology from Japan. So just real quick, I want to open you because <laughs> I'm curious. Um, I don't want to rip the box, so I take my tweezers, do one of those, put the tweezers back because I will lose them, and I want to see what you look, because it says green, oh, no, look at that, that is pretty, as I messed up my hair, like it's not already messed up, this is pretty, so it gives like a little picture, I'm going to hold on to this because this is so pretty. It gives a little picture on the side about how there's a seaweed encapsulate. It protects ingredients from harmful UV rays and, and, and oxidation, keeping them pure and fresh. It doesn't say keeping them. It says keeping then, then, pure and fresh. Proven and potent. Hypoallergenic skincare. Dermatologist tested, so strengthen and soothe and protect your skin against environmental aggressors with ceramide, licorice, and B3+. Plus. I feel like ceramide is going in everything now. Like, we repurchased some lotion that we, like, normally buy, like, body lotion. Not necessarily for myself, but for others. And it's, like, now with added ceramides, and it, like, feels different, and they're not really too keen on it anymore. And then now looking at like some of my face wash stuff that I reordered like to take my makeup off before I wash my face. It's got ceramides in it now. So ceramides is going to be like the new vitamin C. Let's just see how long it's going to take before I get sick of ceramides. But they sound great right away, don't they? Is this, you don't tell me how to use you? There's no instructions on how to use this. Cool. It's pretty though. Look at all the little bubbles in there. I'm in love. Are you in love? I'm in love. Cool. I imagine it's pricey, but we don't know the price because it's not on here. <laughs> Sp 
Speaking of washing my face, this next item I did pick. These next three items I did pick. It's from Benefit Cosmetics. It's already open in here and like tore up. It's from Benefits Cosmetics. It is the Professional Good Cleanup Foam Cleanser. Sit there, foam. Woo! <laughs> the box is already, it's like tore open. I wonder what happened. Laughter is the best cosmetic. Ain't that some truth? It's a foaming cleanser. I got the teeny tiny one of these. I'm pretty sure in my Ipsy once upon a time. This stuff works real good. I used it when we went on vacation. So I had like all of my moisturizers and whatnot, plus the sunscreen, plus the makeup, plus reapplications of sunscreen throughout the day. And this worked really good to help get that off. Um, gentle visibly minimized pores. I don't know about that. Like you just work really good to take off makeup and stuff. Do you, is there um lemon extract, uzu extract, bisabololol? Okay, here we go. Apply to face a massage in gentle, circular motions. Rinse. <gasps> Are you dented? Oh, it's dented. Dented. Can you see it? Can you tell? You can kind of see it. Look at the little dent right here. What happened? The box looks fine. Your box does not look fine though. I didn't do that. It came away like that. But... Ooh, okay. We'll just, as best I can, put you back in there. Next item. This is going quick. <laughs> the next item I picked also and like thinking about it I don't I don't need this item I have probably like two open in the shower one prepped ready to go into the shower and I don't know how many like set aside to be stocked into the bathroom but this is a body scrub or sorry, body polish from Love Script, which like I like the brand. I've used the makeup, good stuff, and it's in the smell, scent, flavor, sugar plum. It's just not so cute. It's kind of tiny, which mm, kind of sucks because like I don't think I have like a jar to show you. My body scrubs, when I buy them, they come in like plastic containers, and they're like hefty little doodles. But this is kind of small, which is okay. Oh, your body is a temple. Polish it. You bet I will. Thank you. Cute. Oh, I can't open it. I mean, I want to. I'm already using some. I have like two I'm circulating through right now in the shower. It's bad, but I love it. It's, I love the sugar scrubs. Okay, last item. So tiny. Oh. This is an item I picked from Beauty For Real. It is a lip revival essential hydration serum lipstick in natural light. Goodness gravy, if that's not a mouthful. Natural light. Cute packaging. I don't know if I use this brand before I'm pretty sure I have maybe I've just never opened a box before that's why this is so difficult for me although I'm pretty sure I have <laughs> Ooh. PETA cruelty free and vegan six months it's good for six months after you open it in case you're wondering how I'm struggling it's the bottom oh it doesn't necessarily look square in the picture, but natural light, beauty for real, Miami Beach, Florida. Cute. Ooh, oh, that is a lovely mob. Look at that. She's gorgeous. She's gorgeous. I don't know if you can tell. Mm, mauve is like the easiest go-to color for me. I don't know if it's like my safe color or just something I prefer, but I love it. I do. Clearly. 
So this is going to be nice. No, I don't know why I'm putting it back in the box. I don't have a price for you on this either in case you missed all the other times I told you. Oh, well that's it for the box. And apparently it's Beauty's Best Kept Secret. Let me, let me show you decently everything that I got for this month. May 20, 24. Paris, not, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, Paris, not a whole lot. Look at that. Everything. One little tiny corner. Well, not really. I kind of fanned it out. You could probably squish it into like, yeah, that's, what's the big box for? Like, I have much smaller boxes from like Allure that are, I don't know, you could have shoved these in too. I kind of got a little bored this month with picking some things. They are things I do need. Things I've never used before, minus this guy. I've used this before. This is good. I can vouch for this. Um, but other than that, the other four things, new, one of them from a brand I've never used before. Beauty for real, maybe? I don't remember. So I'm hoping this lippy stands out. I love my lippies. I don't know if you can tell. I started putting more of my lippies out because there's so many. And I keep shoving them in drawers and then like I forget they're there and then I fall in love with them again when I find them again. So I figured keeping them out would really help me go through them and use them like rotating, like doing this, <laughs> rotating. It's going to be good. It's going to be fine. Anywho, did you guys pick the same stuff for your boxes? Did you guys get the same power picks? I'm curious to see if you all got the same power picks. I try not to watch any boxy charm videos or any subscription box videos until I actually get and open my subscription box so I'm not sure if everyone did the same got something similar something completely different let me know in the comments down below if you like what you saw definitely hit that like and subscribe button and I'll catch you in my next video bye